Okay, so I am going to rent this place Can I sleep? indefinitely. Hi, there's room here. For how long? Now, if you say for a few nights, how about if I pay you it's more expensive, room? but no problem. you have it forever. You pay in advance. And a haircut. Hmm. That's quite a lot. Can we discuss the price? What about this? That's not enough. My last offer. I'd almost shake on that. Almost. You'll like it here. Like sleeping on a cloud it is. God be with you. Okay. So I can sleep here now. And I have enough money that I'm going to sleep until Bernard's out. Well, I'm going to wait. Damn. Gonna get some more food. I buy all his bread. Fuck it. Let's have a word about the price. Why not? What about this? I'm now. Tough luck. Damn. Good luck to you. Let's talk a why not? Here. My word. Okay, I got lots of bread now. Okay, so I'm going to wait. Till right before dark. I'm going to sleep through the night. Till about 8 in the morning, I guess. Or 9. Let's do till 9. Actually, I'm going to cancel it. I'm going to wait till... S about 6.30. That way I can wait off of my nightmare debuff. Please don't wake up somewhere weird. Thank god. Could do with a bite to eat. Okay, Bernard shows up over here, so I'm just gonna wait, like, right here. Okay, he's not here yet. 
Oh, no, he is here. Sweet. You can get this shit done. My respects to you. I'm here for training. Yes, you're that boy Sir Radzik sent. Yes, that's me. Let's get to it then, since that's what Sir Radzik wishes. Uh, and because you've never held a sword in your hand before, we'll start with something simpler. Very well. Come with me and listen closely. I don't want to be repeating myself. Farewell. So let's see what you're made of. Hold it properly and keep moving. Never stand still when your life depends on it. Uh -huh. Right, good. Now, try attacking. You've got to put your back into a good slash. No use waving the sword around like you're swatting flies. Go into the attack with your whole body. Try slashing from various sides to get used to it. Not bad. Well done. Very good. Well done. Nice. That pointy tip isn't for decoration. Try stabbing me with it a few times. Good. Very good. Good. That will do. Slashing, stabbing, and movement are the foundations that you build everything else on. Now, let's try something more complicated. One strike, I can simply fend off. You mustn't give your opponent time to react. String your strikes together. As soon as you finish one, begin another. Strike, strike, strike. Not bad. Very good. Good. Now let's see how you do with defense. It's not hard to block a basic strike. Just watch out and move your sword into the path of the blow. Nice. All right. Nice. Good. Very well then. Let's see what you're made of, lad. Come at me and don't hold back. Good strike. He's such a heavy though. Getting some heads in. Ooh, 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 ooh. Take it easy. Take it easy. Hey. I said take it easy. Hey. Take it easy. Got him. Fine enough. But you're not a complete dead loss. It'll be hard work to turn you into a master, but you have the basics. Let's try something more advanced. When in combat, keep an eye on the space between you and your opponent. That is your space. Try to attack from the side the opponent will find harder to block in time. If I'm holding the sword raised up, do an uppercut. If my sword is low, lunge. Let's try it. You strike a few times at the side where I'm not holding my sword. Hey, that's it. Well done. Not bad. Not bad. Good. Very good. Right. Lesson two. Everything you've learned about blocking there. is wrong. When I cover, I can simply fend off your blows with my sword and gain control of the space between us. But it's better not to control just the space, but actually your opponent's weapon. Attack, and I'll show you. All right, that will do. Now you. The trick is to stay in your stance. As soon as I start to attack, you block. 
The move knocks the blade aside. Ugh. Nice! a little faster concentrate and block just at the moment i start attacking i'll strike you from above each time so you can see it well ah. good ah. good <clears throat> ah, that's it Ow. Well done. Ah. Nice. The hell I couldn't block that one. <laughs> good, good. Now let's try it at full speed. You probably won't succeed, but that's normal at the start. You must train. Let's go. Okay, okay. There we go. Getting it. Ah. Kidnapper flap down. Captain Bernard. Wait a while, Henry. Your greetings, Sir Hans. What brings you here? I was on my way when I noticed that you're entertaining Sir Radzig's esteemed guest. Not the same as holding a hammer, is it, blacksmith? It's Sir Radzig's orders. I know. I'm actually here to train at the archery range. My hand's grown heavy lately. You don't mind, do you, Bernard? Not at all, my lord. Good day to you, blacksmith's boy. Try not to hurt yourself. Where did we finish? Yeah, leading the opponent where you want him. There's one more way to evade a strike. You simply step aside, attack, and I'll show you. Gotcha, though. All right, try it. It's important not to move too soon. I'll see where you're going and hit you. If the same will happen if you move too late. I'll attack slowly now. As you see me, raise the weapon, jump aside. It'll throw the opponent off a bit, and there's your chance. Ah! No, that's, that's mark. not it. <laughs> Very good. Nice. Not bad. Fine. Now try it a little quicker. Try and get used to the rhythm. Never take your eyes off your opponent. You'll see a strike before it's even properly started. Not bad. Ah, that's it. Ah, that's it. And the last thing for today, a trick. You raise the sword to force your opponent to block. But then, change the direction of the attack at the last moment, and the opponent won't even know what hit him. Try it. Draw back the weapon, then change the attack zone and strike, so I don't have time to react. Well done. Well done. Not like that! Very good! Wrong, damn it! No, that's no. not it! No! Yeah. No, again! No, not like no. that! Not like that! 
Well done. No, again. Wrong. Wrong. Again. Very good. I didn't even do it right. I just hit him. <laughs> well, no, that wasn't too bad. Maybe we'll make a soldier of you after all. But don't get cocky. You have to train hard and persistently. You might have talent, but talent alone won't do. Practice. Whenever you've got nothing better to do and you're in the mood for it, you can come and train here with me. I can teach you something more when you're up to it. Don't leave yet. Sir Razik also wanted me to teach you archery. Come with me. I think I can just go ahead. I don't have to follow him. Oh yeah, it's over here. I'm going to save before I get in here though. Because I really want to win the bow. Hmm. Let's see then. Take this bow, go and stand in position over there, and we can start. And another thing, put on this arm guard. Without it, you could flay your forearm with a bowstring, so be sure to wear it. Thank you, Captain. Save the thanks and get in position. Now concentrate. Bow ain't exactly the weapon of choice of a knight, but it can come in very handy. You've got two bandits coming at you from a distance. You shoot one in the eye, drop your bow, and draw your sword on the other. Emperor Charles, God rest him, encouraged his subjects to learn archery. He even organized contests. I'm not surprised frog. that a girl. You would have gotten more. far there. They're holding the thing like a piece of firewood. But enough talk. There's the target. Try and hit it. Draw the bow, aim, and release. Try to get a feel for the rhythm. Inhale on the draw. Hold your breath for a moment, and then release the string. No jerky movements, just let the string slide out of your fingers, as if you were about to draw it back more. It's all one movement, the arrow aiming at the target and flying at it. Shoot away. What wow. you have there is a training bow. The arrow drops quickly. Once you've trained a bit, you can get yourself a better one, and then those arrows will fly so fast you won't see them. Don't forget the arm guard. Once you've mastered the bow a bit, you won't need it anymore. Wouldn't you rather try shooting at a barn door? This is rough. I forgot how rough it is with the shakes. That's it then. I don't like to say it, but it wasn't that bad. I don't know why you're wasting your time, Savanon. Nothing will come of him anyway, and at the first sign of trouble, he'll run away like any other cowardly peasant. After all, he's done it before. What did you say? Calm down, boy. Keep in mind who you're talking to. A braggart who was born with a silver spoon in his mouth. Now you've really done it. You'll go to the stocks for that. Calm yourself, Sir Bernard. If the blacksmith boy feels he can prove himself, then let him try. Do you think you can beat me? Well? Any time. Very well. If you defeat me, I'll give you my bow. If you lose, you'll have to pay up. Do you even have any coin? I have enough. Good, then let's get to it. I really hope I can win this. He's missed both so far. Nice. That sucked. Ah. 
Not bad. I might win. I think I won. Yes, 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 yes. But I gotta beat him in a sword well, fight too. I didn't expect that. Probably just wasn't your day, sir. I told you I have a heavy hand. Ever since I fell off that horse during the last hunt. What are you grinning about, boy? I think you owe me a little payback. How about a sword fight at the arena? If you like. Sir Hans, is this necessary? Sir Hans has already had words about you fighting with your subjects. He explicitly told me. I know what he told you. You can just tell him I didn't listen to you. So what's it going to be, blacksmith? If we must. Excellent. Then let's go. I have to win this. I have to win the bow. Ow. Got him good already. Ooh, yeah, that's a good hit. Come on. Come on, swing. Ooh, not good. I get to keep my bow and you your groschen. I suppose Fuck. I have to credit for taking on my challenge. Despite your limitations. Thank you, sir. Godspeed, blacksmith. I'm trying that again. Fuck that. Exactly the weapon of choice of a knight, but it can come in very handy. You've got two bandits coming at you from a distance. You shoot one in the eye, drop your bow, and draw your sword on the other. Emperor Charles, God rest him, encouraged his subjects Please to learn archery. He even organized contests in Prague. But you wouldn't have gotten far there. You're holding the thing like a piece of firewood. But enough talk. There's the target. Try and hit it. Draw the bow, aim, and release. Try to get a feel for the rhythm. Inhale on the draw. Hold your breath for a moment, and then release the string. No jerky movements, just let the string slide out of your fingers, as if you were about to draw it back more. It's all one movement. Arrow, me I'm doing target. even worse. Shoot away. What you have there is a training bow. The arrow drops quickly. Once you've trained a bit, you can get yourself a better one, and then those arrows will fly so fast you won't see them. Don't forget the arm guard. Once you've mastered the bow a bit, you won't need it anymore. This is rough. That's it. And I good.
come on. No. No. Maybe. Please don't get another shot. Tied. Well, I didn't expect that. Probably just wasn't your day, sir. I told you I have a heavy hand. Ever since I... What are you... If you like. So Hans... We tied. I know. If we must. <laughs> Got you good. Find you gotta really keep your distance from him. Got you there. Fuck you. Why can't I block that fucking hit? We're even then. It looks like I get to keep my bow and you your gun. Oh my god. I suppose I should give you Thank you. I ain't getting that bow. Smith. And don't worry, this isn't the last time we'll meet. We'll have more fun like this again soon. That was bullshit. I'm pissed about that. Don't fret about it, lad. Lord Capon is a good swordsman, and if by some fluke you actually won, well, you might not take it so well. Now go to the rat house. The bailiff's waiting for you there. All right, Captain. I'm fucking pissed about that. <laughs> fucking hate you, keep on. So now we gotta go down into that building and talk to the bailiff. I'm from Scarlet, good folk. Here he is. Good day to you. Dark as hell in here. Farewell. I'm gonna take out my torch just so you can see him. I'm to put myself under the bailiff's command. 
Ah, so you're the young man Sir Radzig appointed? Yes. Very well. Sir Radzig asked me to test you a little, and as it happens, you've come at the right time. We've a few disputes to settle. It seems some of your former neighbors have been acting quite inappropriately. I was hoping having one of their own on the town watch might help sort things out. You can count on me, Bailiff. You're certainly bold. I like that. Have you been to see Captain Bernard? I have. He trained me and then Sir Hans Capon challenged me to a duel. I see. Sir Hans Capon likes to measure his strength against others. But be careful, Henry. Noblemen are quick to anger, and you don't need that kind of trouble. Well, anyway, you're going to assist my town guard. Come to the church in the afternoon. Yaroslav the Watchman, Nightingale they call him, will wait for you there. He'll show you around the town and teach you a little about keeping the peace. And you need to stop by the armory to pick up some gear. Yes, Bailiff. Good luck to you. Okay, the armory is hmm. down there. Basically, just get free armor. I believe it's up here. I was told to pick up a kit here. Name? Henry. And in fealty too? Sir Radzig Kobola. Mm. Yes, I've got you. Well, come on in then. Make yourself at home, Henry. If my memory serves me, you're entitled to a helmet, a gambeson, and a club. That's all? You want a kiss and a hug as well? I mean equipment. It's quite enough for patrolling the town. You're there to stop trouble, not starve it. Have it on. Yeah. Now you got to do your little patrol. How did I fuck up both my feet? Training? I don't know. I must have fell somewhere. That's weird. for this dude for an hour. So I'm going to wait for him.
and I'm gonna eat something. Here he is. Here I am. My name is Henry. We're supposed to go on patrol together? I see you're kitted out. Ready to get going. I'm Nightingale. Aren't you that lad the mill wench brought here on a cart? Teresa. Yes, she rescued me. She turned up with Captain Robot and his knights. All honor to the girl. She has bigger balls than most men. Tell me, how did you pay her back? Well, I, um... I thanked her. That's not much, is it? You should go and see her when you get a chance. So how did you end up in the service of the bailiff? I don't want to be kicking around in the dirt while other men do honest work. You're an eager one, aren't you? Come with me, Henry. We'll patrol the town and then check on the taverns to make sure they lock up in the evening. I'm ready. Don't forget, I'm supposed to try you out and, with the help of God, teach you something. So I expect you to deal with any misconduct yourself. I'll make sure you don't do anything too stupid. Let's go. This is our church, St. Matthew's. It serves not only as the house of God, but as the crypt of the Lords of Lypa, our masters. The gravedigger lives right round the corner. The priest, too. Our parish priest. Ah, a man shouldn't speak ill about servants of the Lord. I wouldn't beg, good neighbours, but I'm reduced to this. This is our rat house. Pretty big, eh? The bailiff and his hands live there. And our maestro proto notarius, the scribe, and the jailhouse. You don't want to see the inside, not even as a guard. Naturally, we have an executioner too, but he doesn't live in town. That wouldn't be proper, as I'm sure you know. He lives by Gallows Hill, the other side of the creek. This pillory was brand new in autumn, and two people have already been rotting on it. The swordsmith lives here. Cucumbers, lovely cucumbers. What the hell is going on here now? Go and check it out, Henry. I don't want you here. Is that manure pile not big enough for you? What are you two screeching about? Stop making such a ruckus. About time you turned up. This filthy beggar thinks. My name is Jane. No one cares what your name is. This filthy beggar thinks she can come and stink in front of my shop. I want you to get rid of her. What's the problem here? This is my shop, and I won't have beggars sitting on my doorstep. Let her go and squat in the square. She won't be in anyone's way there, and there's plenty of folk to beg from. Must you sit here, of all places? Yes, I do. Why? Fog drive me away wherever I sit. I can't keep walking all day and night. Can't you show us some Christian charity, Armourer? What? Have you any idea how much I've given away in alms, even to this witch only yesterday? Is that true? Might be. Might not. Did you get any alms or not? Yes. From the armourer here? I don't know. And even if I did, that was yesterday, and my belly's empty again today. That's true. What would you know about it? We're both good Christians, aren't we? We should each give something to the poor soul. And what then? Then Jane will be on her way. Immediately. King Solomon now, are you, lad? Fine. Fine. Have it your way. God bless you, and, and you too, citizen. I won't be a nuisance no more, really. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Jesus. You're as bad as each other. Second ship, bud. Your old 
neighbors are living here now. It's a bit of a shithole. Even so, you should be thankful to Sir Hanush. If the town burghers got their way, your folk wouldn't be let anywhere near the town. And now our people aren't too happy with him. Some fools are even calling for Sir Hanush to finally hand the fiefdom over to the young lord, Sir Hans Capon. Sir Hans's father, old Sir Yeshke, may God rest his soul, kept it till he was an old man. Then he retired from it, first to Moravia, then to eternity. Sir Hanush is managing the fiefdom until Sir Hans comes of age. They're related by blood somehow, the same great-great-grandfather or some such. The time's coming soon enough when the estates have to be handed over. These affairs often end in conflict. I hope we have nothing like that here. This square here, it looks much better during the markets. Then it's filled to bursting with folk from all around. We've also got the baker's shop here and that mad merchant Wolfram Pruder. Pruder has a pretty daughter, but he keeps her on a short reign, which the young bucks are none too happy about. I heard he even keeps the poor lass locked up at home all day. There's one alehouse here on the market square, the trader's tavern. The other's up by the gate. We'll be going there later. <laughs> 